What's up guys, welcome to another video, I hope all of you are having a lovely, peace, incredible day. In this video, my brothers and sisters, we are going to analyze my six games of um, Hobby Fair uh, Stars Tournament 2024. I'm currently in Poland, playing over the board since forever, 2017, 2018. And we finished six rounds, guys, I won uh, five games and lost one. But take heart, I'm going to show you some brilliances, romantics, and maybe alien Martian Gambit. You never know, guys. Um... Before we start, my brothers and sisters, uh, this is a tournament, uh, Hobby Fair 2024, All Stars tournament, and uh, we are five, we are six players. We're playing uh, ten rounds, double round robin, and this is now uh, the current standing, and this is tomorrow's uh, game. This is the main event, uh, Poland 1000 player tournament. Uh, say she is playing a legend, and many many other wonderful players. So we go start with, with, with round one, my brothers and sisters, and I play it against. Um, uh, Slay Pox, <laughs> Slay Pox, uh, fantastic, fantastic person, uh, one forgotten creator from Poland, every single opponent was from Poland, guys, and I'm the only Bulgarian, aka Alien. Cheers, with coffee. Damn, that's good, you want some coffee? Anyways, I have the black pieces, the time control is 10 uh, minutes, uh, every move you gain 5 seconds, guys. So, out of far up, I'm ready to go. Let's go back, my brothers and sisters. The game started with uh, e4. I went d5. <laughs> yes, because why not? Why not uh, do a gambit in move 2? d5, c6, sacrificing a pawn. My opponent did not take. They decided um, to protect the pawn. Uh, uh, they want to go d4, just play, sorry. Um, I never take here because I, I want to keep uh, tension in center. So I keep sacrificing with pawn f6, attacking the d5 pawn. Pawn f3, what is doing the right thing? They're not accepting gambits. Uh, because my opponent said that he, he he knew that if someone gambit you, probably they have something prepared, which I didn't. <laughs> I got G6. I'm constantly inviting him to take on C6, so uh, that's why every move is bad I make, because angels love grabbing pounds, they're greedy, but with all the respect, angels don't understand. Castle, uh, this castle, and now my opponent finally took. Uh, Sayprox is a very good player, very underrated in my own opinion, and he really, really plays very logical. So when he castled, finally he decided to take my pound. Now I recaptured. Now I'm power down, but I enjoy some leading development. But of course, engine laughs on my position, but I don't give a fuck with all your respect. Bishop c4. That's the move that I don't like because um play bishop b2 and then you go bishop c4. But it's not it's not a bad move. White is still a pound up, uh, so they just try to go d3 and develop their pieces. Now now before I play the move bishop g4, you can you gotta see bishop g4 h3 here and g4. Does that work or not? Uh I, I saw it was not working. But when I play chess, I play for you, and I play for aesthetics, and I saw that uh, my king is safe, his king is naked in chess way, so I have a uh, practical value. So I went bishop g4 here, 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 and oh, they take g4. Danny, give me the brilliant before I go uh, FBI. Stop this guy from brilliant over the board. Uh, it's not the best one, my brothers and sisters, because after take, take, we only have one pound for the piece. And um, this pin is very, very uh, annoying, but it's very easy to defend the Now, you see, he defended is going to move, the change is going to happen. But my king is super deep safe. And I will use that to create chaos on the board. Queen a5, trying to transfer the queen. Pawn h2, fantastic. Exchanging pieces went up to zero. Bishop h3, that rookie. D3, bad move. Rookie 1 was the right move, but then queen g5. Just bishop g4. h5. D4, my queen's hanging. Uh, so that was the right move, but that's difficult to see. They go f3, and now we take the rookie, right? No! I play for aesthetics, I play romance. I play bishop on e d4, terrible move because I'm a terrible player, but it's romantic. The bishop is stronger than the rookie, I want the light squares. My point is smart, he plays rookie 1, Absolutely. he's playing fantastic game. Now I try to bring uh, everyone to the party, bishop h4. Changing pieces, take, take. The best move here was uh, bishop h3, just inviting everyone to the party. Bishop h4, I just took, took, and now I now rook c5. I transferred the rookie on the h file. I'm a piece down. Uh, white lacks development, point g4 is misplaced. If black managed to develop, his, if white managed to develop his pieces, exchange pieces, I'll be completely losing. So angels don't understand with all your respect. Uh, this is a fantastic move because you are uh, entering the rook here. The right move is bishop three, forcing more changes. As rook h5, just take. That's it. So my point played a uh, bishop d2, just trying some dirty discovery attack. I played rook f5, very bad move. Playing this move, but I should have played rook h5 and position is equal. It's equal. <laughs> it's really, it's really equal. Um, the only move actually for is pawn e4. Let's take rook king g2 and just go f5. Just completely winning. Um, then my point was rookie 4, but he was like super duper on time, he's like 15 seconds here, I have 4 minutes. Then I actually regretted point f3 here, which is the top engine move, but I, I thought I was having a move. I take, I have to take, there's nothing else I can do. Now, uh, rook h5, fantastic, more charging rook h1, black is much better. 
Uh, fantastic move by him. He's actually playing very good. Just if he runs with the king, I go f5. After here, if I go f5, just should have. There's rook a4. I actually didn't even see f5. So he's just uh, trying to regroup and I'll play queen f5. I, I wasn't really trying to fox much. I just tried to fog him with all respect. But that's very bad move. It's just queen f4. And my attack is gone. So it's imperative to go f5. Take and I take. And it makes it much better. But yeah, he was losing one on time. And here I won on time. <laughs> um, there's some transmission error. Yeah, I played here and he was in time. Oh, that's how the game ended. So to summarize, game one was absolutely terrible game by me. Uh, engine wise. Practically speaking, it was good. I put my opponent into pressure. Uh, Dark Control is low. But I would say, huge shout out to Slay Prox. He defended like a lion. He defended absolutely like a lion. So yeah, for me, yeah, he was super duper impressive. And now my brother and sister, we're going to play, we, we, we get, we're going to round two. In my opinion, the best game of the day um, for me and against Awa. Owa is super duper strong chess player, uh, and but she is doing the Owa Gambit. You might say, what the fuck is Owa Gambit? We got a new Gambit for GTA 6? Bruh. Yes. She, she just loses, she just thinks a lot, and she, she, she gets very low on time. Uh, but she, there's something very special about her that when she gets low on time, she plays like a GM. I can't do that. I shit. But she, but she, she's playing like a GM. So look what happens in this game. I start with E4, my favorite. C5, see, she goes stealing. I, I thought she must save C5. I think she wanted to go C6, but and that's another topic. Oh, if you're watching, I'm offended. Uh, it goes C5, then point F3. I decided not to play uh, Sweet Moro. Because I knew she, she's playing uh, Poston because we played in the ladder uh, <laughs> before. And I had some this good good line with Bishop D3. This is the can variation, my brothers and sisters. And now the idea of Lex like, to go Queen C7 here and uh, attack the center with D5 on Good Friday. Um, now I go Bishop D3. The idea is to castle fast and then do shenanigans on, uh, because of like, lack of development. She goes Bishop C5. I go point B attack this guy. Everything's sure. Here Bishop C7. I go castle. Now she goes Queen C7. Not a bad move. Um, I don't, I, I don't really understand why it's it's not it's, she played it, but usually in time and time and off and count variations, the queen goes to c7 always. So she she did now go queen g4 attacking this guy. Now she go g6. If she opponent six, I'll just take here. here. You can say wow, you're so you so. So I, I just go here. Now I go queen h3. You have nothing. So if I take 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 it and, and point c3, but I have discovery. Yeah, your queen's king. You know, just take. This. Oh, sorry. I just go take this guy. So yeah, um, it's, it's not the best sacrifice g7 pound, but she played g6. Now, you see g6 creates permanent uh, weakness of the dark squares. In just squares, fighting for squares is very important. This is good coffee, baby. Drink coffee at 9 p.m. like a boss. Um, so she has permanent dark square weaknesses, but she's relying on dynamics, like uh, some d5, point f6, and such. I got points here. I was trying to go c4, but... I said, I'll, I'll, I'll try to play for f4, not c4. I spent a lot of time here, actually. Uh, I, I was only doing point c3, but I said, if I go here and play with f4, I have so many pounds in weak squares. So I go play point c3, go fight for f4. She goes point f6, I go queen, h, queen h3. Now she goes h5, which is, uh, we don't respect a very bad move, because you're giving the g5 square. Um, maybe she should, should have continued point c6, then bishop g5, then point h5. Five. But now, after h5, she just gave the g5 square permanent three. She got d6, fantastic move. It's imperative to go point d7, so because uh, I was threatening queen h4. So, and I go f4, push f4, very good move. And she goes here, and I go e5. I, I didn't spend that second here. <laughs> my intuition screamed. Like, I didn't calculate it. My intuition screams, if you have lived in the weapon, strike the tender, sacrifice the house. Because if you give your opponent time to go under it, you go with home, with chain. Take this guy. Now she cannot take this guy, take this guy, take this guy. Take this. She cannot take this guy because Bishop F4, my bronze, and the queen is trapped on the center of the board. It's really, really trapped. It's imperative to go Bishop F4. Queen H4 is very good too, of course. Uh, and if she takes with the pony, and you just throw, take this, sacrifice the rook, and you win the game. Pony defined, and you just win the game, yeah. Uh, so after if she goes check, uh, and just say let's move take 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 and go point g4, and then you have a very good pony, but uh, permanent weaknesses that is much worse. Um, so she 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 gave check. Now I go king h1, and now she go point g4. Now some spotter might oh. Now I took this guy. Take heart. Uh, if here I'll just if here I'll just take take, and then I just win the game because I have two man priests for rookie. She has to recapture, and I just take this guy, which is bad move. I spend a lot of time here, by the way. Bishop B2, what the fuck? If I play this small ground, you will call me, bro. What the fuck is Bishop B2? What the fuck is Bishop B2? You want to mate me, bro? The fuck? What is Bishop B2 with all your respect? 
Of course it sucks, but... Okay, yeah, Grammy typing, alright. This is some of the Grammy stuff, you don't wanna go into it. I just took this guy. I actually take it, then I just go like, uh, f5, everything's winning here. If she take, if she took with the queen. I go point e4, attack this guy, this guy. Now queen b6, and now rook a1, send rising to pieces. She, oh yeah, she has only 30 seconds. She did the, she did the oh, 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 I mean, she spent so much time here. After if she spent so much time here. She's doing the Oa Gambit before the GTS 6, yeah. Uh, but she starts playing so well as usual. Um, now, she, now, this is a critical moment, my brothers and sisters. Why has only one, one move to hold his advantage? Like the, what the fuck? She has 22 seconds and you, uh, you have super duper active pieces and she, you only have one move? Yes, because she's Oa and she plays fantastic chess and points are very dangerous. Pause the video, please, and try to find the move, my brothers and sisters. In this position, my brothers and sisters, um, uh, uh, I identified that the weakness is f7, and I go, oh, in the two fantastic move, my brothers and sisters, because you want to regroup. That's it. If you have one bad piece, your whole position is bad. My point b3 is doing nothing. What do we do? We go point d2 and transfer the point to here and attack this guy. She go here, point e3, and now we go, what is the move here? I don't hear you, pause the video. Rook c3, my first winner for the arena, for the, for the tournament. Stonebull is found, the brilliant mode. Sacrifice and my brother says the only active piece is the white pony, black pony. In the words of Boris Kelfan, if your opponent has fewer active pieces, exchange them. So your opponent is left only with inactive pieces. The only good piece is pony, you sacrifice the pony here. Pony c4. It's all about the f7 square. Here, here, here. Rook f8. I want to move here. I don't hear you. Oh, he takes f7. It's brilliant. Ooh, stop it, baby. Sacrificing the pony. You might say, what? They did recapture? No. After he breaks completely back in the game. They did not recapture. They need to go queen g5. Stop it, baby. We have four rookie down. But this guy is hanging. And you cannot defend. And those guys are sleeping. That's why chess is so good. Because those guys are sleeping. Now what the fuck should she do? I don't know. She, 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 oh, Gambit is too amazing. She's amazing chess player. Look at that. 21 seconds defending like a lion. Queen e7. Point 86. That was apparently better. Yeah, but you gotta calculate that. Nah. Um, you go take with the point. Now, point e7 was fantastic defense. I can I just take. I show queen f6. And I go just point e5, point f8, and I go rook f3, and I go, and she was some time, unfortunately, because, but it's, it's already was minus 6. So that was a really beautiful game, my brothers and sisters. We played this game with 91% uh, accuracy. So that was game 2. Now, game 3, I played uh, the strongest point in the tournament, um, Sam Jaskova. Legend. Very good player. The way he plays, the way he plays with confidence, fastness, is good, bro. Uh, I got cooked here, but I, I, I got cooked in. I actually got cooked in the worst way. We're gonna see. So, yeah, uh, I started e4, c5, here, here. I don't know, no lines. I have no. The only home preparation I have is Alien Gambit and Marching Gambit. This is neither variation, my brother and sister. And now Queen f3. When he played this move, I got good booms, actually. Um, when he played this move, I got I had five back because this move was played twice over the board, and this is the second time. The first time was played by Cheater. Um, by a um, Cheater. And uh, she played this move and she destroyed me in 12 moves. Because <laughs> when I played this move, she played it, I laughed because it's a stupid move. And that person actually got uh, caught cheating and got permanent two years ban or something. Yeah, so it gave me some five bucks. <laughs> so, but that was a really good move. Uh, he said that one of his viewers has recommended him this, so he tried. Very nice guy, respecting his viewers. Now, I spent a lot of time here, like one minute or something. I got this 6 trying Dragon Door, H3, Bishop here. Every book move actually, like Carcasso. Now, very bad. Uh, I'm a bad player, guys. I don't understand chess. This was the right move, apparently. I just didn't like this. Oh, yeah, because this guy is hanging. Or B8 even. Yeah, this is very good. That was very bad by me. Yeah, point 0.7 is the wrong one. Look at that. A natural development move is a bad move because G4. Actually, my idea was that after G4, I go here and I go B5. But after F4 here. Look, you see, I'm a bad chess player. I can't calculate. I, I really can't calculate. I'm, I'm telling you, I just pray by intuition. I, I'm missing simple stuff. And my whole plan is doomed. You take my pawn, you put it in the trash. Because this doesn't work, and I found that as a queen g2. And I, another stupid move. Oh my god, guys, I'm sorry, this is so bad. Oh man, I just missed g5. Oh, I just, oh, oh, oh. What the fuck is this? I'm moved 13, I'm completely lost. Ah, oh, take hard, guys. Uh, I meant to come back in this game. I fall. Point six. I'm much better in Blender. Why? It's Blender, you can power the win and solve it. 
Oh, he takes it for sacrificing the pony. He says he needs this move. First move of Zaychik, but not my ancient. Because the idea is if they take, then I just take, take, and I go e5. Uh -huh. They take with the bishop, then I just take. So we are removing the bishop because the bishop is overboarded protecting those guys. Uh, so they take. Now we take. We don't go e5 right away because they have some shenanigans. So we have to take first here, and then we go e5. No, I first took. Um, that's my top engine move. And then I go e5 and do the fork. So we, we get our piece back with the pawn up. But now a very good move was missed. Brilliant! Sacrifice the pony, take. Then you just take. If I take, then just go to three. I have pyramid weaknesses. H4, H5 is happening. I'm completely lost here. Um, But he played point if I sacrifice and exchange. Don't mind the engine, they don't understand. It's actually a very nice positional move. I, I love it. Um, He's playing so fast. He's very confident in his moves. Pony D5. Now I have permanent dark square weakness. And now my opponent says, I didn't spend a sec I, I spent no seconds here. Now is it a blunder? I had I had myself so myself so much. King G7 and we have a game, as he said. There's a huge difference why King H8 is a blunder because I I, I said okay my intuition screens King H8 because uh, I I saw ghosts. This is better because um we go Rook H8 and you defend the H file and and in the game we just we don't defend. And I'm just completely lost. Queen F2, fantastic move. After King, after King G7, Queen F2. We have queen e7. So what's the difference? Do you just here? You go h5 here, and then king h8. But in the in the game, queen e7, uh, queen h4, h5, bishop takes h5. My king is not in g7 to face by rook h5, rook h8. So a huge difference. I, I got queen a5, but everything is lost here. Queen h4, h5, bishop take. <laughs> Brilliant. Heads off to you, brother. King g7, don't you move. You see, if my king on g7, I would have met. With H, I would have made it with Rook H8, but now I have to go back on just. I'm so bad, yeah. I'm just so angry myself. The bishop, there. You go. Come on, that's another brilliant. My brother just Let me go here. Queen H7, here and Queen H6. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So he took. Um, he took it now. I can go Rook H8. Napoleon, yeah, another brilliant. More engines don't understand. Uh, Wait, why is there a brilliant? Why is there only one brilliant? Yeah, uh... Okay, yeah, so we go here, here, oh yeah! I saw this move, but there was nothing else to do. Fantastic move! Really <laughs> <laughs> sacrifice the pony! <laughs> Oh, if I take my brother and sister, they say, take some just for whoever for a little appreciate that my brother and sister, my brother or sister, uh, W3, I'm currently recording a video with you for so I really appreciate that, thank you. Oh, with one computer, I cannot see much stuff. One monitor. Yeah, so that's a brilliant, I also go here. Yeah, and after here, if I take, they just check here, mate. So yeah, I was cooked. Uh, he said, um, it's his best game of his life. <laughs> uh, very good game by, uh, just, just call around, uh, just... Pure, dom pure domination whole game. Yeah, I didn't feel it didn't feel that good, but it's part of the game. Um, next game, my brother and sisters, which is round four. I'm playing against Graf, one one creator from Poland, and the game starts with e4, c6, Karokan. I was so happy when I saw Karokan. My heart started beating. Here, 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 alien This is alien gambling, but a6 champion of boringness. What the fuck is e6? Go a6, alien gambit. Oh, duh! I have not played Alien Gambit over the board in my life. Oh, duh! Stop this shenanigan. We can still transpose. Oh, and then, yeah, it's just boring. And now, C5 I just took. Yeah, I should have played point 7 Me too, Castle, I'm just much better. That's a blunder. I just took. And H4, take. Yeah, sacrifice the pony, because why not? I miss paying 4. <sighs> I go Rook H3, I just fed Rookie, I just take. I sacrifice everything. I take the Bishop. Go here. That's when the game. Yeah, that was not not not, not, not still a game because we didn't play any game. But, uh, I should play Queen H6, but I just want to sacrifice more. It's all about the brilliance, my friend. It's all about the brilliance here. Uh, if they go something like King E7, they sacrifice the Rookie checkmate. Yeah. No, 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 not much to talk about here, my brothers and sisters. Um, next game we have uh, extinction against me with Alien. Ah. Uh, uh, you have no idea how much I respect this guy and how much uh, I look up to him. He's a legend. 
Uh, and th thanks to him, I'm actually in this tournament because I'm sure he recommended me to come here to David and David invited me, David on the organizer. So yeah, I huge respect for this guy. I actually thought he was like way weaker, but when he told me he's ready, I was shocked. So I got cooked this game, but I managed to save it. <laughs> Watch what happens here. I got C6 because I thought my dear one of my dear reviews said if he goes here, if he if he alien gambit, because she loves alien gambit. I would have played Bishop G4 to give him chances because I, I have so much home preparation. Um, because I have to keep my words, I play C6. But then he plays F3 and like, my heart broke, man. Like, what the fuck, my friends? Where is Martian Gambit? Where is Alien Gambit? Come on. And I spent so much time here because I was heartbroken here. Like, a point I have no idea. This is the first time in my life I play Karka on the ladder or the board. Literally the first time in my life, my brother and sister. So I had like no idea, like, oh, duh. This is the fancy variation that this sports center. Oh, if, if they take the wise enjoy is fantastic center. So I know you want to play at this point f6, then he fires us here. Now we got some kind of French defense. Um, but it's cooked for black for some reason, because the pawn is already at 4, I don't know, I don't like it. He has so much space advantage. He's playing fast. And... Yeah, I played so bad. Queen b6 was so stupid, because it's just one move threat. Now I have to go back with the queen. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm terrible in openings. He was, he actually asked the game and said, what the fuck was this, bro? Like, in kind of way, he's such a wonderful person. Because now I have to push B5, but usually in chess, when the position is booked, you can do shenanigans like that, but it's not recommended. Now I have to stop F5. He goes point B2, I go quit. Oh, duh! God oh my, why am I so bad? I have to get that back because there's point B2 trade. I have to go back with the queen. I can get you a fantastic move. After this move, I understood that he's a very good player. Like, I underestimated him a lot. Now he goes rook c1, sc4, I have to block 8, otherwise terrible things will happen. Now the problem is I cannot find shelter anyways. My castle got destroyed, but here then he will open the center, so I'm much, much worse. I go b5, b3, a queen a5, another queen move. You see, terrible moves actually, a4. He plays so fast, I said, okay, this guy is so good. I go a6. Now rook b1 was a very, very bad move, um, because he just runs a c4, just a queen g3, b4. I just have nothing here. I have no counter play, I castle. And just take, take, and you go point g5. Yeah, I'm just walls. Alright. But rook b1, because he wants to take and then use the rookie. Yes! I go h2, then just take, take, and then he just take, and he wins. But I just take, and now I have chances. Oh, so bad. Yeah. Point here to protect the bishop so that he can take. Yeah, it's very smart. I just decide to castle, but then take, take, and take. Not much worse. It's actually a point of move. I find it's interesting here. If I take, I, I have to take actually. I was about to play. He actually wants to trap my queen with bishop d2. Yeah, I rook fc1. Yeah, my queen is trapped actually. So I have to take. Then he took. Uh, what is winning? I have to take this guy. F5 was always missed. Then he queen g3. Then go bishop h6. Then go point g5. Ah, uh, should resign. Yeah. And if I take with e pawn, it d5. Uh, he goes rook c1, uh, attack my queen, I go queen h3, protect this guy, and he took. Uh, he should have played f5 again, but f5 is a new grinding move. I go queen f5, fantastic move. After here, I start feeling confident. So I'm back in the game here. Now, f5 again, like, yeah, but this is like the new grinding stuff, man. I, I don't blame him for missing f5. Now, you sacrifice a full rookie, but my king is so naked. Even though I had that issues. This is so, so complicated, my brothers and sisters. He goes rook c7, very nice move, then I go rook c6. I, this terrible chest by me, I thought I was winning here. I completely missed bishop a6. Even bishop f1 was much better. Because now the bishop is safer and a6 is going be hanging. Now I took, now I got point b6. You see now point d5, I, I do nine guns. And if the bishop was on f1, there's rook c, bishop c1, queen a1, and you see this is no longer a pin, bishop b2, because it's no longer check. I'm losing. Now I'm back in the game. Now, queen a1, position is equal here, it's draw. But, he decided to play for a win. My brother, I salute you, very brave. I would have not taken the draw, I promise you guys. Uh, my idea was that the moment he plays rook c7, I'll go here, here, and I'll go point b3 here. And you don't like it, but I would, I would play for a win 100%, because psychologically speaking, white was completely winning, and now position is equal. So psychologically winning, I have the rhythm, I have the momentum. My pieces are back, they're actually squares, I'm two pounds down, but nobody gives a fuck. I had the psychological momentum, I will play, even though I have less time and less pounds. So I was supposed to play point bitch and play for a win, he goes h3, now he was expecting this, but I didn't play it. Oh yeah, I should have played, oh man, I suck at this beautiful jelly game, I'll just win the game, oh! Oh! 
how do I miss this bro? I just took a win. Uh, yeah. What? Okay, I'm still winning, but you don't do this. I'm just a broke here. Uh, here. Uh, E6. He actually makes some counter play. Point 2 I'm very proud of this move. Engines, you don't understand. Queen before was better. Point 2 Now, Ethan, pause the video. Found the brilliant if you had desires. Be fine, the only mode to win the game. Stop it, baby. Sacrifice the rookie before GTS. But what the fuck is this? Not just queen. Rook takes bitch here. The queen is protected. That's the only work why it's working. Take it. Just face up. Points going on D5. That's it. Queen E8, I just rook F5. So yeah, it's just very nice. And then I was going to win. But he's, he, he was trying to make counter break. Yeah, very impressed. I was getting nervous here, but he went up in the game. Accent action, you played fantastic. I'm so proud of you, my brother. And we, we go to the last game, my brother. This is against Slay Prox. I want to person. Uh, I love playing just with him. So A4. Now I play um, Spin Mora Gambit. He very smart. He didn't take. I got point F3, take. Point C3, get center. Sacrifice the pound. HP3. <clears throat> now I have Enjoy. Lead in development and with Dark Quest. Now that's a terrible move. Engine loads it, but now Dark Quest is super duper weak. Now I sacrifice another pound because if you take, I just go bishop 6 Even though I'm two pounds down, they can never cast so. A queen g5, c4, kill the pony, rook e1, just enjoying fantastic position, spawn down here, g3. Now if he takes, I was about to play rook takes 5 yes, brilliant, suck. <gasps> stop it, this is literally the move I'm going to play. As here I play rook e1, exactly, baby. Oh, stop it, baby, sorry, man. That's it? What, what, what are you going to do? This is not defense, rook takes e5. a5, I just take. Give me c5. Rook a6. Then I just go, no, okay. No, a4. I go rook takes e5, check. And now king g2. And he's getting made soon. Yeah, so that, that was my plan, but he didn't play it. He played, um, point h4, I go queen a4, he goes here, I go h4, queen d4, queen g4, take, take, rook e4, attack this guy. Even though we're pound down, you're super active, take, I go h5, I go h7, rook e7, we should have castle here. Uh, rook e7, e4, b8, and we just take, we win the game easily. And he, here he wasn't, he played rook h7, but he wasn't time here. Alright guys, that was it, and that makes us, uh, having, uh, Um, that's it, guys. That was the <laughs> analyze from Brothers and Sisters. Uh, we have um, five points out of six. Uh, we're having fun. Uh, Pawn is amazing. I love Pawn. Both people are nice. I like it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to work eight videos now and board it. Tomorrow is going to be day two recap. And that's it. I'm flying back to Bulgaria in Monday, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to wash your hands, spread peace, love, and happiness. And most important, to pray for peace in the Middle East and whole world. Tomorrow, more brilliance, more romantic game, and maybe be alien, gambling, and gambit. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. You guys are the best. Bye bye. God bless.